Checking out David Bowie's What in the World. This is the last ep episode of January, so I wanted to end up with uh, playing that last couple of songs of David Bowie. And that one was called What in the World from the uh, Low album. I definitely have to check that again. I think it's low out. Anyway, um, the Black Goat 39 Studios presents the Guru Talking Sports Podcast. This is episode 151. And I want to say thank you to all the people that congratulated me for episode 150, even though it was only 42 minutes. And I apologize. I had to run. You know, one of those things where I had a, you know, it was just like a, you know, a rush thing because, you know, I hate to be rushed, but then again, uh, had to do some things with Miss Guru and uh, Mom Guru, and um, I wanted to let you guys know that I apologize for the short, short, short uh, episode, but anyway, um, coming up on the podcast, uh, first off, I have to... Uh, I have to address the uh, situation down in Memphis, and, you know, like I said, I just, you know, I hate to, hate to say this, but, you know, it seems like we just don't, we don't learn from some of the things that we have to deal with, but we'll, we'll get into that. Also coming up uh, a little bit later, we're going to be doing a, uh, news and notes and we're going to be talking about uh in news and notes one of one of the stories i heard this week was ridiculous and uh, i want to find out what happened and uh, you'll have to hear some sound from that and i saw uh, who stole cj gardner johnson's car i, I don't know uh, it doesn't sound doesn't sound right to me you know philly fans <laughs> If you guys did it, this is a brand new low for you guys. And, you know, believe me, uh, you got the song out there, No One Likes Us, but I can see why. All right, um, <laughs> believe me, that was that's something else. Um, you know, what I'm going to be doing since uh, football season is, uh, you know, winding down now. We only got three games left in the season. I'm going to be doing the college wrap on college basketball and sort of like what I do during the football season with football I'm going to be doing a college rap we're going to you know go through some of the big games maybe you know dabble into the uh, rankings and um, a little bit later what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about a couple of schools that I you know researched a little bit and um, some of these schools you you know like Last year you had the uh, Cinderella of Saint uh, Saint Peter's, and now you got two others that's in the top twenty-five that I want to you know try to take a look at. Also, uh, in news and notes, we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, Billy Packer, who passed away uh, this week, eighty-two years old, and um, you know we really you know. One of the one of the guys that made it a uh, a staple to watch uh, the Final Four and the uh, the championship game in NCAA basketball. So we're going to talk about Billy Packer a little bit. Um, like I said, I got a little bit of college basketball. I definitely want to talk about. Second half, we're going to go to uh, poo poo of the week. And uh, what's pissing you off? And the picks of the week. Then we're going to have a, uh, a brief little wrap up at the end. And this week, since it's the last week, and what we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to do the shout outs at the end of the last program of the month. 
so that, you know, like I said, it's just so many names, so many people now that I, I've been, you know, talking, you know, talking to and friends and everybody. I'm just going to start shouting you guys out at the last show of the month. So, I mean, because like I said, it's just, this thing has got enormous. I got a list of over, you know, at least 200 people that, you know, I've, I've, you know, communicate with and, you know, they dropped in and they, you know, told me that they really appreciate the show. So I say, hey, give me a name. I'll just, you know, shout you out on the air. So what I'm going to do in the last segment before I, um, I'm going to go to particulars and then I'm, no, I think I'm, what I'm going to do is go to, uh, the shout outs, then I'm going to go to the particulars and then we're going to call it a day. All right. Um, Got some NBA basketball, definitely got to talk about. And um, the Boston Bruins, oh my gosh, these guys, they they are amazing. They only lost six games this season and five, uh, five ties. They already got 81 points, and it's only halfway through the season. And we're not even at the uh, all-star break for them. So we're definitely going to have to talk about the Boston Bruins. There's something else. They really, really... Hit, they're on a historic run. So anyway, um, what I wanted to mention was uh, what I saw last night when I got home was uh, the tape from the Tyrese Nichols uh, beating and um, the police you know, all five of these officers have been fired, and I, I, I don't know why, but did we learn anything from the George Floyd incident? Apparently not. And you know, like I said, this is not a political rant. This is not a race rant. This is a, I'm going to you know, say what I have to say because I have a platform that I can say what I want to say. But the officers should have known better. They should have known better. That kid was only about maybe less than uh, 50, 50 yards away from his house. And he was crying for his mom. It's eerie. It's eerie. I saw the video and believe me, it let off every single thing this morning when I was uh, getting up, uh, doing research, doing, trying to, you know, trying to get some information. You know, it's really bad when it's on Sports Center, and Sports Center isn't not is isn't a news, uh, you know, particularly all news, like, you know, CNN or ABC or anything like that. We just didn't, we just don't learn. I don't know why. But excessive police force wasn't necessary in this situation. It wasn't necessary. You know, they said that he was speeding and driving erratically or whatever. You know, I'm not, sh I'm not, you know, hey, I don't, I don't know the situation. And like I said, I didn't see if he was driving, you know, erratically or so. But the thing about it is that the, the guy surrendered. The guy surrendered. And the police beat him. Beat him to death. I just can't understand it. I just can't understand why in this country we have to do things to the extreme. It, it, this this was just not, you know, this was a situation where, you know, it could have been rectified with, you know, just a couple of policemen, you know, just being there and maybe, you know, watching and something like that, but... You know, we didn't have to 
we don't have to go to the extreme of killing people on on, on a traffic stop. We shouldn't. It hurts me because I have two sons and I have to teach them and I have to talk to them every single time about when they drive a car what they have to do it's sad this thing is really really sad and believe me I, I'm not like I said my political views are irrelevant to you because those are my political views and I don't share them my political views with anyone. Not even Miss Guru. When she talks about po pol politics, excuse me, when she talks about politics, I usually leave the room. I, I, I can't, I can't deal with it. I cannot deal with it. But this is a situation where this kid shouldn't have been beaten to death. It's uncalled for and it's unnecessary. And I thought that we as a country had learned something from George Floyd. But apparently we haven't. And I just hate to say that, you know, why? Why do we have to keep going through this time and time and time again? Why? Just let me know why. I, I you know, hey, I, I, I want to know why. Why do we have to keep going through this? Why is it the same situation all the time? Why is it that people have to you lose their lives on a traffic stop? You know, all the examples from Rodney King to George Floyd to now Tyree. Nichols, why does it have to keep going over and over and over again? We have to do better, America. We definitely have to do better. Are we not training our policemen the right way? You know, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is that we have to do to get the point across. I just don't know. I just don't know. Believe me, if I was pulled over, I would be in a presentable, I would be presentable, be respectful of the officer and his duties. But I don't know what was said. I don't know what was going on. But if you stop at if you're at a stop a police stop it shouldn't be it shouldn't end up in someone's death it's wrong it's totally wrong and we got to do better we definitely have to do better something to think about now, I just wanted to make sure that I made my point and said my peace. But my prayers and my condolences goes out to his family. And I hate to say this, we're burying another young man. After another bad situation with the police we just got to do better America we just have to do better okay enough said on that and believe me it it really I, I just I only seen the video once because I, I can't I can't stomach it anymore I can't watch it anymore. I definitely don't want to watch it. So, 
All right, now the guru is always right, and now I have proof. Check this out. And now another reason why the guru is always right. Thank you, voice actors lady, and guess what? The guru is right all the time. I want to play for you what I played last week, what I said last week, and here I am. I am right. Uh, the score wasn't right, but I was right. Here we go. The next game tonight, later tonight, is Philadelphia and the New York Giants. Now, um, I am not, I want you guys to know, I am not the biggest Philadelphia uh Philadelphia hater. I am not. Matter of fact, in this game, I can't understand how, you know, the Giants, I mean, you know, hey, I, I can understand. The Giants did what they did, and they played a great game. And, you know, Daniel Jones uh, has very, very much improved, and he did something, you know, that I never thought he would do. And, Hey, you know, what can you say about Daniel Jones? But, you know, I, I think I, I think of it this way. Philadelphia's coming off the bye. They're at home. And they are a seven and a half point favorite over the Giants. Philadelphia, I'm going to let you know that I'm going to go with you guys. And believe me, I picked you guys. Now, you can't... Now, I don't want to hear nothing about, oh, the guru didn't, don't like us, and he's always, you know... Yeah, no, no. I really... I would take... The, I, I actually would take the Giants and the points, but you know what? Seven and a half is a little bit much. But I took the Philadelphia Eagles to win this game. Now, like I said, the guru's never wrong. Guru's never wrong. Philadelphia, don't let me down now to let me say, hey, you know what? Prove me wrong. I never, hey, I'm never wrong. Like I made, like last week, I made all those picks last week. I was undefeated last week. So, I'm undefeated every, t every day. In this picking life, I'm undefeated. I am. Alright. So, I'm going to go with the Philadelphia Eagles to cover the seven. Actually, they're not going to cover the spread. Philadelphia will win by like three. I think it's going to be a three-point football game. Okay, now I did say that. A three-point football game. I, was, I wasn't I was right about that. And like I said, I'm not going to say that I'm wrong because the guru was never wrong. Anyway, Philadelphia did beat beat the brakes off of uh, the Giants 38-7, to you know, and that was a massacre, believe me. But, um, like I said before, the guru's always right. So, you know, hey, voice actress lady knows it, I know it, and I, I tell you guys that the guru is always right. So now, listen to me, and you'll, uh, you know, you'll get... You'll definitely get the right picks and the right things. And I'll let you guys know that the guru is always right. Okay. I guess what we're going to do, we're going to take this break right quick. And then we're going to go into uh, news and notes. And I'm, you know, like I said, I'm going to have some more David Bowie. And we're going to be talking about all the stuff in news and notes and like I said I'm gonna try to get to uh, uh, mention you know I did mention Billy Packer um, James Dolan I got something something I heard about James Dolan um, and like I said we're gonna do a little bit of college stuff at the end definitely gonna have to talk about some television because I haven't talked about television in a while and like I said uh, there's a couple shows that are on right now that I'm I'm definitely checking out. So anyway, um, I'm going to go to my first break and 
We'll be back on the other side. I want you guys to know that you're listening to the Guru Talk of Sports Podcast. This is episode 151. And voice actress lady is here. And she's going to say something for us right now. And now it's time for Guru. Uh, not that. All right. Well, like I said, I'm running the board again. And like, uh, hey, you know, it's not perfect. This is not never a perfect podcast, and believe me, <laughs> I am. <laughs> you know why Caden Guru is not here? So, well, we know Caden Guru is never here all the time. So, anyway, voice actress lady, you know, if you would please give me the correct one. <laughs> uh, we can't do that one. All right, anyway, two strikes. All right, guys, I am so sorry about this, but, you know, hey, I should be, I should know better, right? I should know better. I should know this board by heart because, hey, you know what? The guru's always doing it, right? Anyway, I want you guys to know that I am very, very sorry for the little mishaps. This is not a perfect podcast, believe me. And I did write a little rap about this podcast, but I don't know if I'm, I'm, I'm going to probably spring it on you pretty soon. Anyway, voice actress lady for the third time, she's going to let us know, you know, what the deal is. You're listening to the Guru Talking Sports Podcast. Welcome back to the Guru Talking Sports Podcast, episode 151. You're listening to the sounds of David Bowie, and this is from the Station to Station album, and it's called Stay. some good stuff i tell you i you know one of the things i like about david bowie is that he's very versatile very versatile and he you know it feels like you know he wasn't just rock and roll he was for everybody you know i mean you know with the some of the stuff that he had made and crossed over was what what fame changes you know, dancing in the streets. There's a lot of good stuff, you know, and I, I really appreciate, you know, his music. And um, like I said, one of my favorites is Golden Years. I love Golden Years. If you sit there and you listen to it and you listen to the lyrics and everything, oh, it's awesome. Awesome stuff. Okay, now we got to go to news and notes. And um, one of the biggest things that I... I uh, saw this week was uh, that the Eagles had, you know, really, really good win against the uh, Giants, and I think one of the lowlights, I hate to say this, but, you know, I got to say it, Philadelphia, your fans are the worst. I hate to say it, your fans are the worst, man. You know, and, I, I'm, you know, it seems like, I try to be, you know, I try to see things objectively, you know, objectively. You know, I just want to make sure that I make sure that I get on the right page with certain things. But how can you explain to me, you you Philadelphia Eagles win. You have a good time. You have a big win against the Giants. And what do you do? One of your fans goes out and steals one of the players' cars. Come on, now. Check this clip out by C.J. Gardner-Johnson. He's mad. He's really mad. He's really mad. Dude is really mad because, you know, I mean, I I, I, I hate to say it, but I, I would never go to a Philadelphia stadium game anymore. Because they might steal my car. And I got a very nice car. 
Now, I'm not bragging anything. Guru has a nice car. Check this out. Yeah, you want me to, I can send these. Yeah, this is good. I know exactly who stole my shit, bro. This is birds in the background or something. Wow. Wow. That's how y'all get down? In Philly? Y'all still nigga shit out the wind? Uh, apparently, yeah. They, they sold your car. Um, how do you explain that? You know, but then again, he said that he got him on camera. And he said he knew who stole his car. But then again, I don't know. Is that a conspiracy? You know, I'm trying to figure, I tried to figure this out the whole time when I heard this. Okay, if he said he knew who stole his car, he knew the person. He didn't steal. He didn't steal his car, right? If you know, let's say, like if if I told you know Caden Guru to take my car and I come out and, I, and my car is gone, yeah, I know he took my car, but yet and still, he didn't steal it, did he? But I don't know. Like I said, hey, I don't know these things, but from what I heard. And from what I guess everybody was playing around the country, sports center and everything, he got his car stolen at the football game. Oh my God. How bad is it in Philadelphia? You know, like I said, hey, it's only a hop, skip, and a jump for me to get to Philadelphia. But I'm, I'm not going to go to Philadelphia sports games anymore. I think I'm, I'm kind of like uh, uh, done with that. Only because I don't want my car stolen. Definitely. But, uh, Philadelphia, you, you, you really make a name for yourselves. You know, and that's the thing. I, I just, I don't understand how, but you guys really make a name for yourselves. So, uh, somebody stole this car. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, I do want to mention something funny. I definitely want to mention something funny, and um, I, I think I'll get to that a little bit later. But um, other part, other things on the uh, uh, news and notes is that um, you know, like I was saying before, college basketball. We're going to get into college basketball a little bit later, and like I said, you know, there's some really, really good, interesting teams out there. There's no St. Peter's in the top twenty-five. But then again, there's a couple teams that, I, like I said, I was watching. The uh, Charleston Cougars. Um, they lost today, or last night, uh, to Hof Hostra. And the Hostra uh, ended their 20-game winning streak, 85-81. And um, now they're, they're going to be coming in here to Delaware pretty soon. And um, I think they're coming in here next Saturday at around two o'clock in the afternoon. I might be able to, uh, you might be able to get down to the uh, uh, Bob Carpenter Center and watch that. But the only thing is that uh, I do have a uh, interview, or actually, a, I have a conversation next week that I'm going to bring to you guys. Episode one fifty two will be a conversation with. Uh, uh, a guess, and I I won't reveal the guess because I don't want to jinx it. But anyway, um, have I have to talk about uh, talk about that. But like I said, I have to see this Charleston. They're in the CAA. They're twenty one and two. Wow, pretty good. And um, another team that I was looking at was uh, uh, Florida Atlantic. They're the Owls. They're 21 and one out of the Conference USA, and they beat Western Kentucky tonight for their 20th straight win. Now, see, like I said, there's some some teams in you know there's some teams that are very very you know I'm scared uh, uh, you know we uh, scarce because we don't really really know these teams you know um like I said Florida Atlantic how many how many times have they been into the top 10? 
or how, how many times they've been in the top 25. We don't know. All right. Not that much. I mean, this is, I think this is the first time ever. But Charlestown Cougars, these guys, these guys are pretty good. Okay. Now, your top, top five in the uh, eight, you know, in the polls are Purdue, Alabama, Houston, Tennessee, and K-State. Now, with those five teams, it's funny that there's no ACC. There's no Duke. There's no North Carolina. You know, Clemson is ranked, but they're not up there. Okay, there's no A-10. There's no Big, Big East teams. There's no Big West teams. There's no Ivy League teams. And there's no Pac-12 in the top five. Now Arizona is ranked number six, and they're from the uh, they're from the Pac-12. But you know it's kind of funny to see you know when you when I was looking at the rankings, and I was like, wait a minute, there's no ACC team up in here. So you know I was just checking that out. But anyway, like I said, we'll get more into uh, college basketball as the uh, football season winds down. Okay. Now, I do want to say something about my boys, the Georgetown Hoyas. They won the other night, and believe me, I am so relieved because they broke a 29-game losing streak inside the Big East. And, oh my gosh, finally, they won something. And that was that was just remarkable, but believe me, I still think that uh, my man Patrick Ewan with his bad knees, big tall bad knees self, uh, he's still on a hot seat. And you know they beat who they beat they beat DePaul the other night, and they end that that streak. So uh, I'm just hoping that they can do a little bit better. All right, now I do want to mention something about James Dolan. James Dolan is the owner of the uh, New York Knicks and the New York Rangers, and um, currently is being sued. So, he has a uh, face recognition uh, technology to where he's banning the lawyers that are, you know, trying to uh, sue him, ban them out of the stadium. Now, is that bad or good? To me, nah, well, you know, he, he explained it, and I got to give him credit. You know, I got to give him credit. Dolan is not the, uh, you know, the best owner in the world. And believe me, you know, he said he wouldn't use this on fans that criticize him and the management and, the, you know, and the team. You know, I don't have a problem with that because the thing about it is that we as fans have rights to, you know, criticize. That's what we do. You know, I criticize teams, I criticize players and everything, but we got to be respectful in the way that we do it. You know, okay, I can boo somebody at a baseball game, but I wouldn't go up to that guy's face and boo him or talk smack to him because one, you know, he might be a little bit bigger than me. And, you know, I'm, Guru's no punk. But, you know, the thing is, is that you don't want to do that. You want to be respectful. You know, everybody can boo. You can boo. You can throw, you know, get, you know, you can't throw things. I was getting ready to say throw, throw your hands up. But anyway, you get throw your hands up in disgust or whatever. But there's a certain way of doing things. You have to do it in the right manner. You know, if you go to a baseball game and you boo at somebody, that's not a problem. But as long as you're not using foul language in front of children or in front of any other adult, it's okay. Boo as much as you want. But you got to remember, too, the players are people. The players have families. The players are getting paid to entertain us. And we have to be respectful of that situation. You know, hey, I, you know, believe me. I boo Joel Embiid. I boo, you know, Ben Simmons. I boo, 
you know, Kyrie Irving, even though he did play good tonight. And um, I'll mention that a little later. But, you know, the thing is, is that, you know, players that I don't like, I boo them. Yeah, it's not a problem. But, I mean, it's like I'm not going to, you know, go up to them and boo them in their face and curse them out or anything like that. That's just plain stupid. Common sense will tell you, one, you shouldn't be doing it. And two, don't be surprised if you deserve an ass kicking in that situation, too. So, believe me, I wouldn't do that. So, you know, like I said, James Dolan did say that, you know, he uses this technology for this. And and see, I, I have a hard time understanding this. If you're suing someone, why would you go to a place and try to sit down and watch a ball game or so where you know you're suing the owner? You know, it, it doesn't make sense, you know. Hey, if I was suing somebody, I wouldn't be going over to their house for dinner. You know, that's like common sense, right? So I kind of see it his way in a way. But then again, you know. This is a free country. You can do anything you want. But still, it was kind of, you know, it, that's his prerogative. He owns the team. He owns the building. You know, I understand where he's coming from. So I wanted you guys to know that, you know, I heard this interview on WFAN yesterday, and I thought it was pretty interesting. Pretty interesting to me because, like I said, usually I'm not, you know, I, I search around for different shows. And in the time frame that I had when I was coming back from off my trip, I definitely had to check it out. And I thought it was pretty cool. So, anyway. Um, I do want to mention that um, on Wednesday was the uh, third anniversary of the passing of Kobe Bryant and his uh, little girl, Gianna. Um my condolences still go out to his family. And, um, you know, it, it just re- reminded me that, uh, you know, this life is short. This life is short. And you got to be able to, uh, you know, be res- you know, be respectful and just rem- remind yourself that, uh, you know, the time does move on or so. Anyway, um, I miss Kobe Bryant a lot, and being a Laker fan, I know if he was still playing, uh, Lakers wouldn't have as many problems as they had. Had you know, this is the Lakers. I tell you, they're they're like the dumbest basketball team, and and I've ever seen. I they, they're just you know they lost again tonight. I watched the triple header. I watched the uh, Philadelphia and uh, Denver game. That was a pretty good game, you know. And B did do his thing. He went off a little bit, you know. And, you know, he's, he's sort of a crybaby. You know, he's going to be crying about he should be the MVP or whatever. But he did he did give big props to Jokic for uh, the way he plays. Because Jokic is a monster, man. Dude is, dude is like one of the best skilled big men I've ever seen. You know, and you know he can move around. You know he's not he's not like uh, Kareem or anybody, but dude's pretty good. So, um, watch my Nets. They won. They beat the Knicks. So you know I'm all good. Anyway, like I said, Kyrie showed off tonight. He was amazing last night, and you know Kyrie is you know starting to starting to put it together and putting on the uh, leadership hat while Kevin Durant is out. And like I said, the All Star All Stars have been picked, and you know Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving will be in the starting lineup. Hopefully, Kevin Durant will be back for the. Uh, for the uh, All Star Game, and hopefully that you know he w- he will be able to play, you know. So let's take a look at the uh, rosters. The East starters will be Giannis, Kyrie Irving, Donovan Mitchell, who's having a great season in Cleveland, Kevin Durant, and Jason Tatum. Tatum went 
Uh, wasn't he didn't look too good tonight, but uh, Boston did get that win. Um, West starters are LeBron, Jokovic, Curry, Luka Doncic, and Zion Williamson, and he's pretty much uh, healthy this time, so he should be able to play. Um, you know, like I said, the uh, All Star game should be pretty good. You know, that's coming up pretty soon. Um, that'll be February 19th, and that'll be in Salt Lake. So, we'll have to check that out. And, like I said, the, you know, celebrity game will be, what, Friday the 17th. And, you know, all that other stuff. Slam dunk contest, three-point contest, and uh, HBCU Classic. Will be Grambling and Southern on February 18th, and um, you know, like I said, I, I just I really like the NBA All Star Game. It's always a lot of fun. You see a lot of you know no defense, a lot of you know slam dunks and everything. So, but anyway, the uh, I was talking about the NBA. The um, Lakers lost tonight, and it, this is like the second time I've seen them have a really really you know, stupid way of losing, and believe me, this is another dumb way of losing, so Lakers lose again, but anyway, they are at 23 wins and 27 losses, and I'm just hoping that I can, you know, collect my money at the end of the season, because I did pick the Lakers to win less than 44 games, anyway, all right, let me see what else do I have to get to. Before we go to the halftime, like I said, I mentioned before, we lost Billy Packer. Billy Packer was one of the uh, voices of the NCAA Final Four. Him, Jim Nance, um, Bill Rafferty, you know, all those guys. Uh, it's, you know, sad to see him go. He was actually a player, he played at Wake Forest, and he played in the uh, NCAA. So, you know, I think he played in the tournament years years ago, you know. One of the things I heard about Billy Packer was that he was one of the guys that was really, really critical of coaches and players. Um, you know, now how, you know, we're not really, cri we're not critical of the uh, coaches and players like, you know, we don't really you know, drill them, or, you know, we always, you know, if you listen to uh, some of the commentators, they always pump them up and, you know, make sure that they were, uh, you know, a little bit, you know, w w household names and being known. Billy Packer was the opposite. He used to drill everybody, you know, players, coaches, teams, you know, whatever. But the thing about it is that, you know, he did... By the end of when he retired in 2008, he did kind of like kind of soften up a little bit, and then he retired. Billy Packer was 82 years old. Okay, so I think I got everything in news and notes, but let me see if I'm missing anything. Oh, yeah, I did say the Boston Bruins were pretty good. Yeah, Boston is uh, like 38 wins. Six losses and five ties, uh, five ties, I guess. But anyway, they are they look good. They look good. I, I I've never seen a team this strong in a hockey season like they are. You know, and you know if you're looking at the the rankings, uh, Boston's number one. They they are clearly head and shoulders over everybody else. So. We definitely have to say, hey, keep an eye out for them because uh, I know the stadium series is coming up pretty soon. So we'll definitely have to check out the uh, stadium series and um, see what's going on with that as well. Um, I'm trying to find the, uh, the standings for the, I'm, I'm on my computer right now, and I'm searching around, let me see, Boston lost. And um, this is the first time they lost back-to-back -back games this season. 
They lost to Florida and Tampa Bay. Yeah, you know Tampa Bay is still pretty good. Um, Stamkos has, uh, you know, Stamkos is a man. I really like him. Really good player. Um, Tampa Bay, they beat the uh, my L.A. Kings 5-2 uh, to two last night. So, I just, you know, like I said, we'll get into a lot of the, uh, get into hockey. We'll get into uh, college basketball, get into the NBA. All this stuff we'll get into right after uh, the end of the season because, you know, like I said, football consumes everything. And I only got two games to pick in the next segment, so we're definitely, uh, definitely going to have to do that. So I want you guys to know that um, I really appreciate you listening. This is the Guru Talking Sports Podcast, and um, if you're counting right now, we're over 45, over 46 minutes, and like I said, we're going to try to get this down to like maybe an hour and a half or less, but coming up on the other side of halftime, we're going to do Poo Poo of the Week, What's Pissing You Off, and we're going to have the... uh, the two games that we're going to pick for this week, and hopefully uh, I can make some money off of them because uh, I did pick pretty good teams. Uh, I think I did. I think I pre- picked pretty good games. So we'll definitely uh, take a look at what we got here. And like I said, football season is winding down. Three games left. I don't know what I'm going to have to do now. I can't. I don't have an excuse now for uh, not doing anything around the house because uh, football season is going away. I have to do stuff, but uh, hopefully, you know, my job can keep me occupied. Matter of fact, they are going to keep me occupied this week. I'm going to be going on the road. I think all week, and um, I might not be going to my my spot up in New York, but um, we'll see. Like I said, Monday, I got to uh, probably have to sleep all day tomorrow because uh, I got a really, really early schedule for, uh got to drive to Pennsylvania tomorrow or on Monday. So I'm definitely going to check that. Uh, definitely got to be there really, really early. So like I said, I really enjoy um, doing what I do because it's the best job I ever had, you know, and you know, I took I took some pictures uh, the other day of uh, my friends, and um, they're really, really good people, really good people, and I love my friends, I love my friends at work, and, you know, they like me because uh, I'm more or less, I'm kind of crazy, kind of silly, but, you know, they, they know that uh, I respect them, and um, like I said, guards at you know, you, you you have to respect authority. You know, they are the authority. And what I usually do is uh, I make sure that I I don't give them any, any mess. If they ask me to do something, I do it. Because the thing about it is that you want to make sure that you, you follow authority. And you respect what they do. And, you know, they take a lot of crap. And which which is not right, but see another thing too is that I'm a former guard. I used to be a guard. Uh, I used to, actually was a uh, a guard supervisor, but I had to be a guard too when I when need be. But my thing is that you have to be respectful, and I know that you know people in authority take a lot of crap, but we have to do the right thing. We have to do. We have to go by the rules, and I can't, I can't, uh, I can't accept people that that don't go by the rules. So, all right. With that said, I'm going to go to halftime, and we are going to uh, definitely talk about um, poo poo of the week. We definitely going to do poo poo of the week. We're going to do some. Uh, what else are we going to do? We're going to do a few other things, and 
we are going to be out of here pretty soon. So, like I said, well, I'm trying to find something. On my, yeah, well, here it is. Anyway, we'll be right back. You guys are listening to episode 151 of the Guru Talking Sports Podcast. And also, on the other side, I got some something else I want to let you guys in on. So, you guys take care. Hold on a second. Don't go nowhere. I'll be right back. Voice actress lady's going to give us a little thing, and we're going to go to halftime. Here we go. Voice actress lady, go ahead. You're listening to the Guru Talking Sports Podcast. Welcome back to the Guru Talking Sports Podcast. That one is called Sound and Vision. And that's off the uh, Changes to Bowie album. Alright, so what I'm... Um, I hate to do this, but... The Poo Poo of the Week. Let's do the Poo Poo of the Week. Okay, shall we? Let's do it. All right. Anyway, poo poo of the week this week is no other than the guy who stole C.J. Gardner's car. I like I said, hey, you know, come on now, you can't, you can't, you can't steal a player's car right after he won a game for you. It's the most disrespectful thing. All right, that is a poo poo of the week. Um. Really don't have anything that was pissing me off, but I do want to read something from a uh, person in New York, and this one is addressed addressed to the Philadelphia Eagles. All right, I'm not going to mention his name, but this is what I I got from the uh, from this guy. In New York, I guess he's a Giants fan, or a Jets fan, or a New York fan, or whatever. But he wrote this. Philadelphia Eagles suck. They make me sick. They have ruined my life for the longest time. It seems as though that the Eagles have always beaten my Giants and made me feel bad. You guys suck. You guys, I hope you guys lose. And... I hate you, Jason Kelsey. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's pretty harsh. You know, for this guy to send me this and write this, this is pretty harsh. But I tell you one thing. Uh, can't do that. Can't, yeah, I mean, you know, you could, you know, sports is supposed to take us away from hatred. And all the other things that, you know, that we have to deal with. But, you know, come on now. You can't hate Jason Kelsey. I mean, you might not like him because, you know, what is some of the things he's done or whatever. But, you know, you're just hating people. Yes. We, I mean, come on. You know, we, we all have our nemesis or so. But the thing about it is that you got to be, you know, you, you just can't go around hating people. You know, I guess that's what's pissing him off. But anyway, it's, it's like, you know, kind of, kind of crazy. All right. It's that time. It's time for me to do the NFL picks and... I, you know what, I'm really, really excited because, uh, you know, we're only down to two games. This is it, you know, two or three games left in the season. So, 
We're going to make sure that we get these picks. And I'm going to pick my picks, and I'm going to give them to you, and I hope you don't get upset with me, Philadelphia. <laughs> uh, just a little joke. Or maybe it's not a joke. Anyway, here we go. Uh, like I said, I'll run the board, but yet and still, I always make the mistakes. But this is not perfect. This is not a perfect podcast at all. Voice actress lady, please give me the NFL picks of the week. So. And now it's time for Guru's picks of the week. Thank you, voice actress lady. <laughs> Believe me, I, I, you know what? Hey, I, I try, I try. But you, you know, I, it's kind of funny because, like I said, this is not perfect. This is not nothing in this world is perfect, is it? No. So, you know, hey, you can take the good with the bad. You know? Anyway. Alright, let's go to the picks of the week. First game of the week is going to be the AFC Championship. You got Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals coming into Kansas City to play the Kansas City Chiefs. And just remember that the Kansas City Chiefs has it has been to this is their fifth AFC Championship game. Their fifth. And we have a rematch from last year when Cincinnati came in and beat Kansas City. Kansas City has a, had a 20, well, 18 point lead or so, 21 point lead, something like that. And they still, you know, didn't be, wasn't able to finish the job. Kansas City uh, quarterback Patrick Mahomes is a little bit uh, hurt, high ankle sprain from the Jacksonville game. You know, Jacksonville didn't have a chance to, uh, they, they couldn't put them away. That's why these four teams are still standing, and that's why Kansas City is still the cream of the crop in the uh, AFC. Kansas City and Cincinnati. Those two teams right there, best two quarterbacks, Mahomes versus Joe Burrow. I love Joe Burrow. All year, this guy has been, like, killing it. You know, and like I said, I have him on my fantasy, one of my fantasy teams, and I will not give him up for nothing. You can't can't swindle me in any trade or whatever. Kansas City... Is a one and a half point favorite to win this game. I think that if they can keep Mahomes healthy, protected away from that Cincinnati pass rush, they might have a chance. But in this case, I think that what's going to happen is that, you know, I like, we don't know about. You know, we know that, you know, both Cincinnati and Kansas City's front lines or uh, offensive lines are kind of banged up and dinged up or whatever. I just don't know. I, I you know, Mahomes is one of those guys you don't really like to pick against. One of the guys that I don't like to pick against is Brady. Aaron Rodgers is in that class too. Mahomes is in that class. But what I've seen, they what they did with uh, Jacksonville last week, they should be able to win this game. You know, Cincinnati is coming in, and, you know, shade has been thrown on both sides with both teams. But I think that Cincinnati are going to be a little bit better in this game. I've been flipping back and forth. And I have to say that I'm going to take Cincinnati to win this game. And I'm taking the point and a half. I think Cincinnati can win the game outright. I hate to do this, but, you know, I love Patrick Mahomes. And I don't think he's really healthy. And I think that, you know, with Jacksonville, what they did last week to him. Um, and then they brought in Chad Henney. And, you know... Sent him on that 98-yard drive. That killed Jacksonville. 
I like Cincinnati in this game. I'm going to go with Cincinnati to win. I don't have a score because I don't know what the score is going to be. So I'm going to go with Cincinnati. I know I'm a guru and I'm supposed to know these things, but you know I like Cincinnati. Both teams are really good, so we're going with Cincinnati. The late game is Philadelphia and San Francisco. Offensively, Philadelphia is a juggernaut. Hurts didn't show any signs of that bad shoulder, and he looked pretty good last week. Defense, they played their part. They shut the Giants down and made Daniel Jones look like a regular quarterback. And, you know, I saw a little bit of what he did against Minnesota, but what I saw, what I watched when he did against Philadelphia, he didn't look half half as good, you know. He didn't look elite, believe me. And that Philadelphia defense can do that to you. On the other side, you got a high-powered offense. They brought Christian McCaffrey in to do what they can basically do. And um, I think they're poised now to make this run. This is a hard game to pick. Two-and-a-half-point two favorite for Philadelphia. Being at home, both teams, home teams, are favorite. I don't know. I, I I've, I've been back and forth on this game, and you know Philadelphia. I want you guys to know that I I still think that you have a be- a good team, a very good team. But San Francisco is a little bit better, I think. I'm gonna. Go with San Francisco to pull the upset. I hate to do this, Philadelphia. But I think San Francisco is a little bit better. I know Brock Purdy is starting his first game against a defense like Philadelphia. No rookie has ever won a game going into... A, uh, a conference championship game going into the Super Bowl. Brock Purdy doesn't have to be perfect. He just has to be okay. And with the weapons that he has around him, Debo Samuel, Ayuk, Kittle, that catch that Kittle made last week was just amazing. Believe me, that was amazing. And Christian McCaffrey, Elijah Mitchell, these guys, these guys are players. They don't get rattled. They don't get down. And I think that San Francisco and Philadelphia is going to be a classic game. I don't know if I could take the over on this. Probably have to play the under. But it's going to be a hell of a football game. But I got a feeling that San Francisco is going to pull the upset and beat Philadelphia in Philadelphia. I know Philadelphia fans, it's not what you want to hear. But the guru is always right. And hopefully that will stand true tomorrow night when this game is over. I'll probably have to sleep through this game. But I definitely will have a DVR and watch it and watch all the little things that went on in this game. But I hate to say this, Philadelphia. I think this might be the end of the road. You had a great season. But you have to win the Super Bowl. And I think that San Francisco has the uh, ability to win the Super Bowl. But... Wait till the, uh, you know, Super Bowl matchup is uh, brought in. I'll, sh- I'll make a pick, but like I said, I, I got a feeling that uh, one of these two teams, Cincinnati or San Francisco, could win the Super Bowl 
also Philadelphia and Kansas City could win the Super Bowl, but we'll see. I'm going to go with San Francisco and Cincinnati to win this game. Okay, that was it. That's the pick. And, um, all right, I do want to mention, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, wrap and uh, I'm going to uh, talk some television right quick. Uh, a couple new shows, a um, couple shows come back, came back. Um, Godfather of Harlem. If, if you guys ever watched that show, that show was amazing. Uh, Forrest Whitaker plays Bumpy Johnson. And um, you got a lot of good actors in that. Uh, my man uh, from uh, Breaking Bad, and Carlo Espinoza, he's in that. And he's really good. Your Honor is back with uh, Brian Cranston and um, my man from The Wire, Isaiah Whitlock. She, he's he's in there. All right, I know I ain't supposed to say no curse words, but that's what he says. Um, Night Court. Now that's a good one. I like Night Court. I always like Night Court. I thought that Bull and uh, Roz was like the funniest two characters on there, uh, including Harry Stone. Um, or you know. He, the guy that played uh, Harry Stone, who passed away, um, I can't think of his name right now, the actor's name. And the, yeah, and you know what, uh, uh, that guy from Alaska, don't, don't, you know, don't email me and say that, hey, you know what, you're getting old, you're forgetting stuff. Uh, you know, I, it just, just slipped my mind, right? I just can't, you know, Guru has a lot of stuff on his mind, he has to remember a lot of things. But anyway, all right, Night Court is back, and I'm still watching General Hospital. And, I, you know, we're, we're trying to figure out what well, Esme loses her mind or whatever. Uh, crazy girl. And, um, you know, still the situation with, uh, uh, well, Nina, Nina found out that uh, Willow is her daughter, and Willow is really sick. And everything they get ready to have a, a memorial service for Brett and uh, oh man, I, I love that show. I watch that show all the time. I know you guys might laugh at me, but I do watch it. American Auto is pretty funny um, on NBC. Uh, they're they're really funny. Matter of fact, I was just sitting up here watching Saturday Night Live. Saturday Night Live is oh my gosh, hilarious. They're hilarious. I love them. They, they are some crazy people that, that play on Saturday Night Live. Uh, Little Baby, I'm not familiar with him. And Michael B. Jordan was on tonight. So uh, I want you guys to know that, like I said, you know, I watch Saturday Night Live every night. Every time I'm doing this, like, late night uh, podcast, I usually, you know, check that out. Um... I wanted to mention something. Like I said, uh, in closing, I wanted to mention that um, I got these hoodies for sale. Now, if you want one, message me and let me know. Uh, I'm not going to be selling them for a high price or whatever. You know, they're pretty cool. They're three colored. Uh, you know, you can have it on a black hoodie gray, orange, whatever color, except for, uh, like, uh, like I don't know, maybe we, if you want a fluorescent one, you know, you got to send me what you want, and then I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get it for you, um, me and my brother are trying to get these uh, hoodies together, and uh, I gave away a couple, and free giveaway is, like, gone now, and, like, uh, some of my crew has them, um, I tried to uh, give Katie Guru one, and he said he didn't want one. And, you know, Katie Guru is the oddball of our group, of our crew. Uh, I'm definitely making one for Ray, sending him out one. Definitely making one for Dante, sending him out one. 
I got one for my man, uh, Dave Mack Jr., because uh, just a little appreciation for him and everything that he does. Um, whoever wants one, just let me know. And like I said, you know, price is negotiable. Whatever. We will, you know, it's, I might give it away to you. You never know. But anyway, I wanted to make sure that uh, I mentioned that. And like I said, next week, I'll have a special guest. I don't want to jinx it. I just want to let you guys know that I will have a special guest next week. And, you know, it's going to be a fun conversation because uh, I really respect the work. I'm not going to say he or she. I'm going to I'm say that I respect the work they do. And I really want to talk, you know, have a conversation with this person because I want to make sure that uh, you guys can understand a little bit of what's going on with, uh, with certain things. I'm, that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to tease it anymore. I'm not going to say anything. But like I said, I just really appreciate uh, the person that I'm bringing in here next week. And, you know, that should be the fourth. The uh, Super Bowl week, I'm going to try to get uh, as many people in as possible. Uh, I'm going to run through, I'm, you know, I might call them while I'm sitting here on the podcast. And, you know, hey, ask them who their Super Bowl pick is. You know, and like I said, even if, uh, you know, if I might have to Zoom uh, a couple people and put them on. I know my man, uh, I talked to my man Rob in the 321. He's going to be here. He's definitely want to be in. I might have to call Dan, see how he's doing. I might have to call my man James because if uh, Philadelphia is going, I definitely know that he's going to be picking the Eagles. You know, Katie Guru is going to be here, hopefully. You know, I know he likes the Eagles, so he'll probably pick the Eagles as well. So, you know, we'll like I said, we'll see. We'll we'll definitely have uh, all the people up in here. Okay. All right. Now, like I said, the end of the end of the month, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dedicate a little bit of time to shout out everybody. All right. So first of all, I want to shout out my girl Bella B in Calgary. She's always listens to the podcast, and I really appreciate you. And um, Bella, you know you, you, you know I, we'll talk. Bella will talk. Anyway, appreciate you, my man Jeff in Southland. Appreciate you, my man Rick in Buffalo. Appreciate you, Mel, Dixieland Dad, my man Mike, uh, Lori, Adriana. Robin the three two one, my man uh, Senor, appreciate you. Um, everybody in my um, my my group, in my uh, Twitter group, Twitter sphere, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Justin, the coach, Dave Shepard, all the people on the DA show, I really appreciate you. My DA is everywhere. Really appreciate you guys. All right, my um, my work peeps. I really appreciate my work peeps. My man Brian, Ted, and Jason up in New York. Really appreciate you. Uh, Hunter, Dylan, Tony, Betty, Kate, Christian, and am I forgetting anybody? Dylan, Dylan. I did say Dylan, didn't I? All right, I can't forget Dylan. Dylan's cool. He's quiet, real quiet guy. Really, really cool. Appreciate you. All right, my cousin Damien, my uncle Gary. Appreciate you and thank you for the uh, uh, shout for the uh, 50, 150th episode. Thank you. Good to talk to you this week too. All right, Charlie Rogers, Chris Kerwin. Philadelphia Eagle fan, I know that you guys are, you're going to be calling me up and texting me and doing all this stuff because I know you're going to hear this and you know that I didn't pick the Eagles, okay. Denise Hyde, I know she's a Philadelphia Eagle fan too and um, I apologize. 
Keith, Keith Stewart, Big Al, uh, Kareem, Jamie Dorsey. Now he's a he's a San Francisco fan. So Jamie, you got to give me some credit. I, I'm going I'm, I'm going on your side. Mike Fox, he's an Eagle fan. He's gonna hate me, but um, not not really hate me. But you know, all that stuff. Mike, my man, Mike. Um, Kevin Ryder, he's a Ram fan, and he's probably not. He's probably a little upset because the Rams ain't in there. All right, um, my friends, uh, Vernon and Anya Myers, Miss Ann, we really appreciate you. We're always praying for you, and um, you know, we always pray for you, and we always think about Cousin Aaron all the time. Uh, Ashley Holt. Um, She's a Cowboy fan. Sheila Brooks. Uh, she's a Cowboy fan too, I think. So, you know, most of the time, like I said, most of these Cowboy fans, I have, you know, they're really good people, you know. Cowboy fans are good people. I'm just, uh, Jody. Jody is the biggest Cowboy fan. And, you know, I, I text her right after uh, they lost and told her that, you know, it's it's going to be okay. But, you know, she knows that, you know, it's kind of like the same thing that goes on and on and on every single time. And, you know, I, I hate this. I hate that, you know, she has to go through that all the time. You know, it's, it's just really mad. It's, it's bad, though. Um, I definitely want to shout out a couple people on Facebook. Um, Lauren, uh, you know, my cousin Elizabeth. Appreciate you. Mayor, appreciate you. D. High Wright, she is a Dallas Cowboy fan. Or no, she's not a San Francisco fan. My man Ian Brown, appreciate you. Uh, Jody Platt, appreciate you. Um, Michelle Jenkins. Now, she's a 49er fan. I appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, Melissa Briscoe. Appreciate you. Francis Williams, appreciate you. Um, there's a whole lot of people here that um, I really appreciate. And um, my man Pierre Bacon, appreciate you for uh, shouting out my dad. His birthday was on uh, the 27th. And, you know, I, I talked to dad and I told him that, you know, what you got to do is you got to go outside, you know, he's, he's, uh, he's not really, he's, I mean, he's, he's still around, he's still kicking, but the thing about it is that, uh, you know, sometimes he has a really hard, hard time doing things, getting up and all, and, um, you know, he's getting up in age now, he's, uh, you know, up there, he's almost 80, we'll, we'll put it that way, but, um, I told him, I said, you need to just walk out on the uh, balcony and just take a nice deep breath. You take that nice deep breath and you say, thank you God for another year. That's one of the things I did when I turned, uh, turned my age. And what I did was... Uh, you know, when you, turn, you have birthdays, what I always think is that the best thing to do is just to be thankful. Just take that one day and be thankful for another day, another trip around the earth, you know, and just say thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for another day. That's what I did. And I told, I gave that, gave that, uh, advice of my dad, you know, and like I said, hopefully I'm a good son to where I can, you know, be, you know, helpful and give my dad a little bit of thought of too, you know, it's not bad, you know, as a, as a parent, as a child, you know, I, you know, I want to make sure that I do the right thing for you know, my dad and my children, always. Uh, one other person I want to say thank you to is Elizabeth Fielder. Um, 
you know, one of our, you know, one one of my friends that are uh, on Facebook, I really appreciate. Uh, you know, like I said, all the people at work, um, we got together. You know, four, three of our friends from work, we got together, took a picture together, and um, I really appreciate them. And like I said, didn't it, it's, it makes a big difference because if you, you know, you're good to people, people will, you know, be good to you. And, you know, I really appreciate that. Keith George, appreciate you. I miss you too. I'm just reading this Facebook comment and it said he, he misses me. I know, I miss, I miss you guys too. You definitely, David Jones, appreciate you, my man. I miss you. Our Kelly, Kelly Logan. Um... Really appreciate you, and that's uh, my man, uh, Ray Guru's wife. We appreciate you. All right, I got to get out of here, but I got to give uh, the particulars and say thank you to everybody in the crew and everything. But like I said, we definitely have to do particulars, which is something that I have to do. And uh, like I said, now this new format that uh, Black Goat Sports wants me to do, I'm going to do it the way they want to do it, so, you know, all right, like I said, call the guru at 302, or leave a message, voicemail, or text or so, you can do that at 302-468-7239, 302-468-7239, I know I was rumbling and, you know, at the end, oh, I forgot, to, uh, definitely had to do something else too, um, this has been... A very very good episode and like I said I understand that the last episode was kind of short I'm sorry about the uh, noise but um I definitely have to you know I forgot I had to turn my computer back on anyway so um really appreciate you guys definitely uh hanging in there with me and making sure that uh you know we get through this episode um a lot of stuff. I think we covered a lot of stuff this week. Uh, a lot more than we did last week because, like I said, I was running basically out to make sure that uh, I had to leave leave you guys kind of early or so. But I want to make sure that I got you guys today. You know, yeah, I got you. I got you. All right. So, want to make sure that. Uh, you know, if you check me out on YouTube, my page is The Guru of Sports Show. Facebook, um, check me out on as Gurus Briscoe on Facebook. And that is Gurus Briscoe on Facebook. And the IG page is Guru Talking Sports underscore podcast. Guru Talking Sports underscore podcast. Gmail me at Gurus Daily Shorts at gmail.com. Twitter handle is M A C K G T S underscore B B thirty nine. That is the official Twitter handle of the Gurus Talking Sports Podcast. Find us on podcast outlets like Speaker, Spotify, Podchasers, iTunes, and iHeartRadio. Wherever you find your podcast, that's where we are at. Um, like I said, I want to give big props and shout outs to Miss Mary Mack, the Mary Mack Show on Grief. And check out her website, The Grief Authority. Check out our podcast all the time, like I do. It's really, really good. You'll learn something. My man Jeff Duarte at Cowley Sports News. We appreciate you. Thank you for everything. And we appreciate you. My man, Cousin Curtis and his grandson, Jared. Appreciate you guys doing what you do. And my baseball insider, my man, Dave May Jr., we appreciate you, and thank you for everything, and um, your hoodie's on the way, definitely. We got to definitely hook up the crew. Hoodie's on the way for the crew. Um, 
got to get Curtis's size, got to get, uh, you know, all that. Canyon Guru is an executive producer who's never here, and the board hop, which I am, and he's not. So, you know, all the mistakes, blame it on Caden Guru. No, I'm just teasing. Blame it on me. Uh, it's all good. Ray Guru is my musical advisor and technical support. Uh, Dante Guru is my backup co-host. Um, my uh, cousin Aaron is our guardian angel. And like I said, the chair is sitting here right here next to me. And like I said, every single time uh, we go on the air... Uh, put this chair here to remember Cousin Aaron's memory and we always do that motto is saying is that this has been a production of Guru Sports or Black Goat Sports Guru Sports Black Goat Sports <laughs> copyright 2023 all rights reserved we don't hate we congratulate we always create and we don't steal from anyone because that's not cool. Use the hashtag big props and the hashtag guru talking sports. Oh man. I don't know if I should do this now, but I don't know. I have to, I have to I'm thinking about I'm I'm debating on something I should do. I'm debating on something I shouldn't do. I don't know. I should, shouldn't, whatever. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, we got to play the Hey song. Definitely got to play the Hey song. Um, here we go. Hey song. All right. Anyway, let me see. Hey song. Hey song is coming. Believe me, hey song is coming. Alright, uh, while I'm waiting on the hey song, actually, I put this little, uh, little rap together. So, I was going to play it, but, uh, I might do it next week. Hey. See if I can do it to this. I'm nervous, I don't know I should do this. Though. Do we talk the sports part? Cats. Never was first, but never will be last. The clown of sports with the styling careers, fooling around in the podcast biz. I'm prominent, dominant, cool, and legit. I wear number two because I am the. Check out the guru and the words I speak. Uh, the other guy. Oh, jeez. I messed up. I'm the other guru, so check the technique. Just a few lines. Now I got, I'm good to go. Oh, gosh. I'm bad at this. I know you guys are going to be laughing, but hey, you know. I thought I had a pretty good rap anyway. You guys have a great day. Take care of yourself. Enjoy the rest of your sports weekend. And I'm going to work on that rap. So, I know you guys probably say, well, what the hell is he trying to do? I know, trying to rap and stuff like that. But I'm going to work on it. And I'm going to break it out again. But I know you kind of like that part where I said, you know, I'm... Prominent, dominant, cool, and legit. I wear the number two because I am the... Yeah, I know. I ain't going to say the word because I know it's kind of crazy. But anyway, you guys get out of here. Enjoy the rest of your sports weekend. Enjoy them two football games. And we'll see you back here with episode 152. A special episode where I'm going to bring in a guest. 
And you guys take care. I'll see you soon. This is the Guru signing out. At the end of this song, we'll have a moment of silence for Tyree Nichols and our cousin Aaron as well. Later. <laughs>